All right, everybody, we're gonna do our sex linked Punnett squares. Um, these have an extra step, so I just wanted to walk you through them. These are traits that are found on the X chromosome. Remember that normally a female is gonna have two X chromosomes and a male will have an X and a Y. So you might think that because these are on the X chromosome, females would have them more often. But actually, males get these more often, and that's because if a female has one X that is affected by this recessive trait, the other healthy X will take over. However, for a male, he only has one X. So if that X is affected, he's going to have the actual disease. If the X is healthy, he'll be healthy. So he basically has a 50-50 chance, and this is called being hemizygous, meaning he only has one X, and so it makes him um, have a higher chance of getting one of these traits. And remember, these traits are things like hemophilia, where you can't stop bleeding, male pattern baldness, or um, color blindness. And those are all things that obviously we see more in males. So let's say we have a mom and a dad, and we're going to, of course, start with our phenotype. So we're talking about hemophilia. So mom is healthy because, you know, women pretty much wouldn't survive something where you can't stop bleeding. Um, dad is affected, okay? So he has the disease and they're worried about possibly passing this down to an offspring. So here's the extra step. The first thing that you have to do before you actually assign the allele letters is to make mom and dad male or female. So mom is two X's, dad is an X and a Y. Then what you do is you figure out the alleles based on the phenotype and you add those only to the X. If mom is healthy, that means she has to have at least one dominant allele. So she could have two dominant alleles or she could have just one, be what we call a carrier. Both of these would uh, result in her being healthy. Dad has hemophilia, so his 1X has to have the recessive H because he has the actual disease. So let's look at doing a Punnett square. Let's first uh, try mom because we don't know which genotype she is. So we're gonna try mom being completely dominant. You're going to put mom's sex chromosomes, then attach the allele for hemophilia to the X's you're gonna put dad down the side. Remember, he only has one X, that X is affected, so it's a lower case. We do our square. What we see is again, they have a 50-50 chance of having a daughter or a son. That's anytime you are pregnant. Now we assort all of the um, different alleles. So here, we're going to have this mixture. Here, remember, there's only the X that has the letter, so we're gonna bring down the one dominant here, and we're gonna bring down the one dominant here, okay? What we find is that if mom is completely dominant, we do not have a chance of creating an offspring that is completely recessive. Every single box has a dominant, so they would not be able to have a hemophilic child. But let's see if mom is actually this because we can't tell just from looking at her. She might carry that affected X and not know about it. Again, we could make daughters or we could make sons. We're gonna sort all of the um, alleles now. And what we see is there are boxes that are completely recessive, okay? Now here's where it's really important. If I ask you the chance of an offspring or a child, those do not talk about the sex of the child. So you're going to look at the complete box. You're going to look at all four of the squares. If I say daughter or son, you're only going to look at the two squares that correlate with that sex. So daughter are two squares that are female, son would be the two squares that are male. That will change your percentage, 
okay, in some cases. So please watch out for that. In this case, they have two out of four, which is 50% having uh, this disease. Um, same thing if you ask about the daughter or the son, it would be one out of two, one out of two. Um, over here, however, let's say I ask, what are the chances they'd have a child who has the disease? It would be zero out of four. But what if I said, what's the chance that they would have a carrier daughter? Again, if I designate the sex, you're just looking at the actual um, boxes that correlate to the sex of either daughter or son, female or male.